Then over on, I'm going to show you how to put in, to calculate the mean and standard deviation on one of these Casio calculators, one with the two, two orange buttons. The first thing you need to do is put it into stats mode. So do this, you go mode, and you come up with a list like this, and then you've got number two is stats, so you press two. And then to work out the mean and standard deviation, you need one minus variance, number one. You click number one. Then here you've got a column in order to put all your input data in, all your samples and all the results from your samples. Uh, you might have frequencies next to them, so you might have one of the first sample, two of the second sample, nine of the third sample. To add a frequency column next to it, you go shift, set up, and you scroll down using the scroll wheel, then you click number three stats, and here you've got frequency on or off. You press number one for on. And now we have X for your samples and a frequency column there. So I'll give you an example. Uh, to end input your data, you just do 10.2 for example, and then equals, and that inputs your first data. Then it scrolls, goes automatically to the second one. Then I'll just type in the rest. 9.4 equals 10 equals 9.8 equals 10.1 equals 9.9 equals now if you don't change the frequencies it will automatically will just automatically keep them as one so you can see all the ones there so you can see that all the ones there but you can change these values just say you had eight of the first one you just press eight or oh, eight equals on the second one just say you had five of the second one five equals and that changes these values but for this tutorial I'm just going to keep them all as one. Alright, so once you've got all your data input, wait for it to focus. Once all your data has been, uh, been input in, you now have to press the AC button. This is a bit that confused me because you think oh, I was going to delete it all, but the AC button it inputs the all the data you've just put in the calculator into the calculator in order to be analysed. And from this, we can now go have to open the stats option which goes shift and number one for stats just above there and this gives you a list here and we need number four the variance and from the variance it gives you these four options number one is n number one will give you the, nu the number of the number of samples you input into the calculator so we'll do that number one enter so I'll put in six so it's come up six shift one again to get that list back up four uh, two is the mean x bar is the mean so two equals 9.9 .9. so that's just added all your samples and divided them by the number of samples uh, shift one again four again uh, three is the population deviation and four is the sample deviation sample standard deviation so this is the for a sample so if we press four equals 0.2828 that is your standard deviation for that and I hope that helps because that had me pulling my hair out to try and figure that one out now once you've got all them values and you've plugged them into your I don't know the question you're trying to answer you have to delete the, um, the the information that you've input into the calculator in order to read it like try and do another one otherwise it stores all that information still and to do that you do shift 9 and that will that'll come up with shift 9 come up with another menu to clear all the information stored in the calculator at the minute so we go 3 for all equals for yes reset all, press AC and then that puts it back to standard mode in order to input another another uh, sample hope this helps, I hope it helps one person in the world because it had me pulling my hair out and crying over that one <laughs> cheers